Hello guys, it's Sean Thomas here and welcome back to another video. Today we're heading to Fife to collect a lorry to take all the way down to Stoke. We also have a new trailer to look at that we potentially could be purchasing, purchasing for Sean Thompson Transport along with whatever the hell else people phone us for to move. But anyways, without further ado, we are heavily, heavily late this morning. Unfortunately, one of the removal lorries uh, decided to shift its tail lift. So we've been sorting that this morning, but we didn't manage to get it sorted. But anyways, that's why we're doing a pretty late start. Without further ado, let's get up to Fife, let's get this lorry loaded, and let's get back on track for Monday. It is currently nine, nine and a half. It's currently half nine. If you are new here to the channel, feel free to consider subscribing. We upload every Wednesday at 7.30 and Saturday at 7.30 UK time. But without further ado, let's get in to this week's video. Sick man, here we are at a customer's house. A customer's house, customer job. And this f***ing lorry's making me look like a rookie Because Volvo, when I had that breakdown last week Have they put my Anderson lead back on a f***ing unit with power ramps And it doesn't f***ing start Hopefully it's f***ing start now but f***ing idiots man, who does that? Please tell me that's it fixed Please Alright So thankfully that was loose which meant that we could use the Anderson leads Which was great because this is obviously a note boom with power ramps But anyways, some of you might recognise this trailer this is a good old LM recovery trailer I've, uh, I don't know if you want to call it, borrowed or hired for a couple of days. It's my first time using a, a nutty boom or a note boom, whatever you want to call it. Fucking love it, by the way. These are your sexual trailers, by the way. Sexual. But anyways, there's a wee ratchet strap set up this. I like the four tire design, you know, instead of just doing two or one. So I thought four was nice. We've got the two at the back pulling forward and the two here pulling that way. That is the plan, anyways. But now we've got the other side to do. We'll get a video of that. Now we'll get fired on to Stoke, hopefully before 6 o'clock. We'll get turned around in there. Right, that took a bit longer than uh, originally anticipated. Just a quick rock round check, that could fly out and potentially kill somebody, so we'll just put that over there. <laughs> but there we go, it's finally on, look at the, look at the state, yeah, that's lovely. I do apologise we didn't get much content in the morning, uh, I'm an hour late and also my Andersons weren't working. I wouldn't say the customer was annoyed, but you know what, the customer's already been waiting an hour more than what he was told. So I'm then fanning about my battery box, looking like a pure amateur. So I had to just forget about GoPro for a minute and focus on getting the load on and of course making the company look good. But anyways, we've been told we can turn around in there, hopefully, and then back out that way and onto Stoke. But there she is, all loaded up. Doors look closed, I'll just quickly fold the mirrors in. It's all nice and square. Now we're good to go. All right, so I've just quickly jumped in for the keys. Oh, it's lovely in there. You'd eat your dinner off that plate. Oh, fuck the hell. Hopefully I can close this door. But I tell you the reason I grabbed the keys, the first load I ever done was a Ford Transit. I left the keys in it and it locked. But it fucking took ages to get unlocked, have not. I'm moving that. No, it's shut properly, it's just a wee gap. Right, on to Stoke, let's stop fing about. Need a bit of fuel. Oh Jesus, Fuck. that does not look good at all. Fuck me Christ. Oh, big man's properly, properly on fire. Oh, oh it's burning my eyes. Ah, oh man, that was far, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I don't think it was very healthy to breathe in. Oh, I've really burnt my eyes. Jesus Christ, they've shut the road down on that side by the looks of it. Probably for that accident up ahead, unless there's another one that happened. Or if that gas or whatever the fuck was pouring out, smoke, whatever it was, was pouring out of that van, 
was genuinely like nipping folks' eyes, which if it was, <laughs> I'm gonna cause a serious fucking crash. Oh, all right, here we are, Charnock Richard Services. We're just gonna stop for a wee break. I'm gonna phone and hopefully we can still deliver tonight and then we're back on track. If we can deliver tonight, then that fucks us up completely for today. We just didn't get off to a good start today. I was, I was already late as it was uh, helping that removal lorry. And then obviously after that, just a knock on snowball effect of traffic, needing to stop for fuel, spending 20, 30 minutes trying to get the ramps to work in this trailer just to realize that it was my battery. And that's all delayed us. Potentially could lose us a day, by the way. Because if you imagine we're now about an hour, two hours behind schedule. We're getting to law exports for about half five. So if he doesn't take us tonight, let us offload tonight, then that means we lose about five hours of driving time, which means which means I can't pick the scanning up first thing tomorrow morning. It's just a whole knock-on effect. But anyways, we're gonna have a break, we're gonna phone him, we're gonna go get some lunch, all that jazz, and hopefully we can recover this day because so far it's been a been a snowball effect. It's not been a great start. Hello. Hi there, it's uh, Sean here. I'm currently bringing a tipper down to yourself. Hey, sure. uh, Oh, the girl, the girl's quite a nice canyon, yeah? Yeah, I, it's just like, you know, I've, I've not had a, a great start today, but I'll be there about, uh, oh God, about quarter to five, six o'clock. Uh, right. What time is it you boys close for taking uh, for taking vehicles in? Not going to be half five, to be honest with you. Oh, what, uh, but no, no, here, hang on a minute, so it should be alright. One of your lads is here in the yard. Alright, okay. no worries. That's brilliant then. Thank you very much. You're the, you're the postcode FT4, so you're, well, you're coming out Scotland anyway, yeah? Aye. Ah, you'll be coming in the right way. I was going to say there's two ways up, one way is a little bridge, but no, you're coming down, you're coming down, you'll be six feet, um, six. Perfect, that's brilliant. Yeah. Thank that's you much. Here you are, we're in the back of the flatbed. Got ourselves a wee KFC, some golden syrup, a wee picnic. Now that we're back on track, we can celebrate a bit. I can't quite remember if I put my ad blue cap on back when we filled up. It's sat here, jammed in there, kind of just bouncing about. As you can see, that blue cap isn't on, so either I've completely forgot about it and not put it on, or I did, and it's just came loose. But anyways, I think we didn't lose that, because it's about 25, 30 quid. Well, that's it on now. We are being that lucky today, by the way. Tell you something, man, that is one bro fucking load. Right, we've got 50 minutes left on our tackle here, so hopefully it'll be enough time to set up our new poppies that were delivered and supplied by Pucker Ledges free of charge. Alright, let's get it all installed. I've kind of wired everything so that I can have this wee junction box in there and it should all be nice and neat. Downside doesn't mean I can't close this can holder, but I've always got a can in it anyways, so it doesn't need closed. Right, so uh, that 50 minute break I had, or 50 minutes left I had in my break, went quicker than expected. So I'll finish this all off once we get up the road, because we've got to catch back up. Well, we're kind of kind of caught up ish. Thankfully, we didn't come in there with a 12 meter bridge, but here we are, we've made it to Law Exports. It's all nice and open, which means I think we're offloading tonight, boy. That's a split box. I have not driven a split box in ages. Let's hope it still runs. That's not a good start. Fucking keen, even. Um, maybe a steering block. Still check. They're not steering block. There we go. Moment of truth. Dead as a donut. Right, we're gonna need to get it fucking bumped. Just about to leave a lot of exports. We're just driving down a lovely area, trucks they have here now. Didn't record much content. Thank you very much, Ryan, as well, from all exports for helping me out, or as he was calling himself, well, as he told me his TikTok was Spud Tang. Um, but just because I was already at like an hour an hour late, I didn't want to then fuck about being like, yeah, I need to get my camera out before we take this off and stuff. So just again, focus on the job, get the job done, and then unfortunately YouTube and TikTok come last. Um but it is what it is at the end of the day, it is what it is. We'll just do a quick turnabout down here. That's where I was told was the spot. And then we'll fire on back up the road. Oof, it's a bit of rough ground, wasn't he? Wasn't he lying when he said rough ground? We'll just take it nice and easy. And now we're heading off to, I mean, Inningham, 
Am I good? Uh, and then, I mean, I'm in them. I mean, him. I mean, them. What do you call that, docks? Eningham Docks, Eningham Docks, Eningham Docks, Eningham Docks. We're heading there for a load, but look at that man. Windy. It's not my trailer either. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's fire on Eningham Docks. We'll see you all in a little bit. Oh man, this is my skin mark. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ, that clutch was heavy on fire. But I think I was trying to take off in third gear. It was a split shift, probably half gear. It's not a pish at all, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but aye, I think it was on fire for the most part. But anyways, we got it in. And now we're heading back out onto the main road and heading for Immingham Docks, where we'll catch up with today. So obviously by the time we get there, we won't be able to load tonight. But by the time we get there, obviously, <coughs> we'll catch back up with where we should be for tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so we made it here to the docks. We've been given a treasure map of where to go and hopefully we get the treasure map right and then we have to look for these chassis numbers. I'm picking up Vauxhalls and that is us. So we're coming up to the first roundabout here. So we're going left. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I'll be given is just this little treasure map. That wire's getting snipped soon by the way. Got all these split new cars. Fucking fresh out the wrapper. Never seen a bit of turbo apart from the tarmac sitting on, but Jesus f man, I could get away with a proper robbery in here. This is fing look, oh mate, thousands. Anyways, we're looking for gate H. <laughs> f me. Here I am, two Vauxhall Grandlands, which these all look like Vauxhall Grandlands because they all have Vauxhall badges. <laughs> I thought it was fing trucks I was picking up. But anyways, I need to check that these two serial numbers that I've got match, and then we'll pretty much just fing. I'm gonna go park a lorry over there and just go a walk, find these and fucking see what happens. <laughs> Boys, right, bear mind I park my lorry there, right? We came in that gate there. The first two cars I check, right? So I walk up to the back. I didn't obviously film at the time because I thought that, well, there's like a hundred lanes, so I thought I'd have to film the hundred lanes. But I came up to this one, I was like, yep, that's a Vauxhall Grand Land. So I'm checking the VIN. Sure enough, first ones we come across, Bosch. Beautiful. It's bang on. Downside is, there's a the keys and shit. There goes nothing. Something tells me these are gonna be locked. Oh, oh, that new car smell right. Let's get this truck set up. Let's get these fuckers loaded. I am buzzing that we managed to come across. I, I thought I was going to be here for hours, man. But it's two cars. I didn't think I was taking two cars. But anyway, here we are. Hopefully, like, I've not been set up for a robbery here. I'm actually in here just robbing motors and I don't even know it. I also really wish I didn't value my job as much because I could literally fucking just drive whatever car I wanted here if they've all got keys in them. Start rallying them about the fucking docks. <laughs> oh Jesus, right, we'll get that out. Just quickly let's set up these top ramps because it'll all the way up the top. So I'll put the first car up on the neck, then the second car, oh, it's not on the neck. Oh man, these smell fucking amazing. Love new cars. Oh, she's an absolute fucking yoke. <laughs> oh yes, boy, see where you go. It's technically one of the first folks to drive this poor car's new car. Oh, it's only done 12 kilometers. I've walked further than that, but it's got fucking no diesel. To release park and brake, press the brake pedal. No danger, that's fine, I can do that. Go turn into gear. Oh yes. Let's take this wee jaunt. Let's put, let's put 14 kilometers on it. <laughs> Spin around. That's a nice car, by the way. I quite like these wee grand lands. Oh, yes. I get used to this. Alright, let's just hope we get up nice, put the windows down so we can hear it crunching. That was just it hitting the ramp, wasn't it crunching? Sorry, I didn't hit the brake there. Put the mirrors out. Nobody's watching, anyways. Well, the actually only ones here. It's fucking nine o'clock at night and everyone's fucked off home. Right, let's go set up the neck ramps now because obviously I needed this car to kind of show me where. Park. Park and brake released. No, park and brake on. Park and brake is on, right. Oh, there's a nice wee bit of gap as well. Let's see how straight I put that on. Don't beep when I close the door, please. Can you get it unlocked, kid? Oh, God. Right, anyways, that's, that's one. 
<laughs> Why am I just trusting Venusia? Might fix this one up a wee bit actually because I've left a bit of a room. But <laughs> this one's in fucking French or whatever fucking language that is. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anybody. What does this mean? Like, I literally went to start it and thank God done that one first because it came up saying, like, obviously, how you can't move it up, like the puck. That one. That one there. Right. But I assume that just means, you know what I mean? Fucking <laughs> smart cunt, me, by the way. GJ peeps. I should know something. Just gonna back a wee touch. Gee, that'll do. Right. Anyways, in gear. Look that off. Two cars collected. Come on. Well, still not strapped them up, but besides the point. Right, that's one strapped. I quite like the note boom or the nutty boom for its tie off points. Apart from around here, the neck it fades away because the nearest one is there. So from there to there, you're really only going onto the chassis rails. I don't know what I put my flashlight on in case people see me videoing, but I feel like it's needed for all five seconds. So I've left this wee bit of room, alright, we can get a third one on. But there we are, we're all loaded up. Let's get the out of here, let's get some time off, and then we can get back to... It's not really pulling, it's pulling back. It's still pulling there, to be fair, still pulling there, I was just checking it. But anyways, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, Jesus, we've made it, we've parked up at the side of the road. Just gonna lock the cars, because I feel like I need to lock them if I'm parked at the side of the road. And that's us done for the day. Oh, we got a ravioli for dinner with a wee smoky camera. Try again, ravioli for dinner. Got TV on, we'll have a wee nine hour and then we're firing on to Stoke on Trent tomorrow. That far do. I'm not gonna slap the camera this time. Oh, God damn it. By the way, what a sleep we had last night, that was fucking horrible. Every five seconds, right? I had to, I got up it during the night to close this. I quite like having this open when I'm sleeping. Cause then when I wake up in the morning, I can see the sun and I don't know, it's kind of nice. Fuck me man, every five seconds, right? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I'm popular today. Hello. All right, looks like we've arrived on site. This does pretty much look can bang on, apart from the closed gates, but hopefully we can get by that. So cars are tipped here, we're just uh, waiting for a wee second to get the paperwork to say we're all good. And then we're firing back onto the docks to just rinse and repeat. So, oh boys, look, it's just pulled up down there, wee Charlie Law dance. This, by the way, that, what a prick. There's only one fuel pump working, and that guy's just came up with like a full fucking free course meal. Anyways. Went for a wee fat, chunky hot roast. I think the big man's fucking waiting for me so I can show off how fast he's fucking veered quads compared to mine, the prick. Aye, right, the second I fucking pull out, he pulls out. He's fucking waiting for me. Let's see who's faster. Within legal limits, of course. Come on. That's it. Uh, he's fully loaded of biscuits, eh? So if, if he gets me, it'll be a bit embarrassing here. Oh Jesus, I think he's got me to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell if he's gaining or not. 
come on darling come on i think i might be getting him we're not getting him but at least staying away from him <laughs> he's on me <laughs> yeah bastard i knew he was gonna do that when i seen him sitting waiting come on let me get a car let me get a car let me get a car here he comes here he comes <laughs> that's a tidy lorry fucking stunning lorry Fact, it looks like you might not be getting me. I think we might just be sitting last the whole way now doing a wee bit of holding hands haulage. That's not bad then. Barely catch. But he is fully freighted with biscuits and I'm empty, so just bear that in mind. Makes it more embarrassing for me, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> Foxy's biscuits to <laughs> the good ones. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> bastard, bastard, bastard. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Oh, my guy. I do apologise about that, but look at that. What a stunning, stunning lorry. Absolutely stunning. Get the charger on, because it's about to fucking die. Right, so here we are, back at port. This time it's a wee bit more awkward. They made me drive all the way out to port to go to the office to get the same paperwork that I got last night at the dock office bit, so I added an extra 10, 15 minutes to my time. Just, you know what I mean? I could have just done it at the wee gatehouse thing like I did last night. But anyways, let's go. Oh, here we are, back again. All of a nicer. Nicer view this time, it's a wee bit brighter. Alright, fucking hell, they're loaded. Let's head back over to Stoke. We'll not get there in time for delivery tonight, we've lost too much time with eh, about the docks and stuff like that, so we'll just fire on and get as close as we can. And I think we're just offloading in the morning. Oh, my little ass. That is cool as f. Here we've got fucking container trucks just loading up containers and f. The steering, man. <laughs> oh, jeezy peeps, I'm also. Maybe in the wrong area, eh? <laughs> I'm in that area for picking up and dropping off containers. I do have a container. Hopefully we can get it. Like f*** that. That feeling a million times better. However, it's one of the nice and clean and heavy bogeys. That shovel that does this. Stays on every now and then, but most of the time it's just a wee push of water. I grudge paying at services, but I haven't had time all weekend. Well, I could have made time. I haven't had time all weekend or this week to go to Tesco. So here I am. See what you see in that bag there. One sandwich, one pasta bowl, and two fruit bowls, and that spearmint. Comment below how, how much I think that was. Okay, five seconds, right? Let's try to put an 85. It's a fucking banger order. But I just I couldn't face it, but I walked in, I was like, I don't want a Burger King. It's like, I don't want a can out there. I was like, no, I was in one of those moods, I don't know what the fuck I want. But anyways, we're feeling better, we'll drive down. We'll not get tipped tonight, they close at five, but we'll drive down and tip first thing tomorrow morning, and then get back on track. It's I feel this vlog one, this, this episode's been a bit boring, but act. That is what it is. But anyways, we've got to scran this and then we'll uh, fire up the road a bit. There's a plan. We're, uh, we're going to drive down the road a wee bit and scran. A guy drove up to me and goes, are you staying here tonight? And I was like, no. And he's like, any chance I could get out of space? And I was like, absolutely, mate. I've been here for my 45. And if somebody needs it for a 9 or 11, then I feel like they get priority over someone having a wee break. So I've fired off that, let him park there, and we'll eat our food somewhere else. Let our boy get some sleep. Says it closes, this, says this place closes here at 5 o'clock. I can see trucks in, the gate's open. I'm going to just pretend like... You know, I've, I don't know what I'm doing and be like, oh, sorry mate, didn't realise it was closed. Might get offloaded tonight, boys. Might get offloaded tonight. Nobody's shouted at us yet, so I'm just getting offloaded. I don't see there's no one kicking about. It's good, because we still got four hours of tackle time left, so I thought I was getting an early night tonight, but that was a fucking lie. That was a lie, there's no such thing as early nights. It's quite handy having a wee reverse camera on this one, I can see right where my ramps are. And make sure I'm coming off nice. I'm not damaging fuck all. Oh aye. There we go. We didn't drop that one off. We dropped the one off behind it. One left to go.
<laughs> I am buzzing that we got offloaded. What a f***ing trip. Anyways, let's fire up the road a bit and pick up our next load. I don't think we'll pick up tonight, but we'll definitely get it tomorrow. Fucking shit, man. Right, so it is currently quarter to 11 and we're parked up just outside our load. Our load is literally just down that road there. Unfortunately, it is closed until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. But we're picking up a transit van. So I'm gonna get a wee bit of sleep because I'm fecked. We are at nine hours and 59 minutes. So there was no room for error. It's time for bed. We did it, we had a good day. We did a lot. Bye. Oh, right, half eight Wednesday morning. Let's go pick this van up. All right, something tells me Travis Perkins weren't too happy with parking here last night because those cones weren't there last night. So if I pull these curtains back, there's a fucking parking ticket. I'm gonna be raging. Just off the phone there, it's blocked in the yard. It's, oh, the, the, I phoned them last night, but they wouldn't answer. So it's it's blocked in the yard. It's gonna take ages to get out. So I swear to take it down this wee lane here, which will get to be a lorry and bother it. Back at the industrial estate, I've almost been waiting to say two and a half hours now. The guy says he's buried in his yard and it's taking ages to dig out. I can't get my truck in his yard, so we're loading it here. It's not like I've got places to be, or a home to get to, or anything like that. Right, Hello mate. That's me just picked up and uh, it's just uh, just about to start strapping it But um yeah, what, I'm in a prick. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I'll get a phone back in five minutes and I'm walking the road here and phone come up and fucking get mad. Alright, good mate. Love you. I doubt you probably heard any of that, but I'm pretty sure I just got threatened. I don't even know the guy I'm delivering this for. <laughs> I think this one's gonna be pure meter. Just gonna cross the back tires and then just go straight onto the rims on the front because the other side's flat. The rims are already fucked anyways, so a wee ratchet strap's not gonna make that much of a difference. Plus I don't really want to do the whole kind of tie thing on a on a flat tire because I just don't think that works. Just quickly set this one up. We've crossed my mill job there. Aye, anyway, that's it loaded. But what I was talking about there was getting threatened. Because the boy was like, ah, do you know this boy you're picking up for? I went, no mate, it's just, just a job for me, yeah? He's like, ah, will you tell him when you deliver it? If he ever wants to tango, come down to Sheffield. And I, you know that way I was trying to no laugh? I was like, tango? Who the f*** still says tango? He's like, ah, I know boys up there. And see when folks say that, I can't be arsed. Like, ah, you know boys up there. Why not date yourself, eh? That was that. Don't know if you caught that in camera, but I should start with a wee external mic. He's like, tell me if he wants to tangle, he can come down here, I'm like, mate, I'm just a delivery driver, I don't give a f about what's happening with you or the guy I'm picking up for. My job's to pick up here, drop it off there, and probably forget about it for the rest of my life, eh? Anyways, onwards. Well, Alright, so we've taken a wee a quick break, we're here at MM Acquisitions, and we're having a wee look at potentially what could be for a new trailer. So we've got this red one here, Casboa, three axles, absolutely stunning, brand new back here. Extender, of course, it is up around here. They've pulled out this blue one so I can look at it, but I'm more interested in the red one because it'll match the lorry a hell of a lot better. But here we go. Pretty nice bits of kit, to be fair. Obviously, we should get a set of Durabrates on it. <laughs> He's more like, can't be having a machine without Durabrates. This is, this is some kit. Okay. We've got all the marker boards down here and stuff, all up in there. Tidy, tidy bit of kit. Got some ramps as well, by the looks of it. 
Jesus, man, there's trucks for every occasion in this place. You can't find a truck here. I was going to say something smart, but tidy. However, a wee bit of a collision here. We don't have to get ourselves into some shit, so here we are on the case digger. Basically, we're going to move the van with the case, then pull the case back up with the van. Aye, let's get into it. Alright, so that is it for the, today's episode. I'm sorry I didn't record an outro at the time, but we had to get that digger moved and the van loaded. The rest of the video will be up this Saturday at 7.30 UK time, so... Also, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next video. Goodbye.